Greetings in the name of the Lord. This is Jim from Don'tPerish.com, John 4, 24 Radio, bringing you more truth and discernment from God's Word. Hey, today we're testing, as you can see by the video here, the Holy Bible is our first priority, the Word of God. And then we generally put a piece of paper with our topic on it. Today we're testing an organization called Northern Christian Alliance, started by modern pastor Paul Sherrick, Faith Christian, Mauston, Wisconsin. This organization needs to be tested to God's Word because they're out there publicly proclaiming uh, truth and so we want to test them and we've already tested Faith Christian. We have a link and we'll put a link at the end of this YouTube video article, this post where you can go and we'll document all this. But many of the people involved in this are part of Faith Christian. It is not a true New Testament Christian church. It's a seeker sensitive, emotional driven, watered down um, body that does not meet the standards of the New, T New Testament church. So we would warn there. But looking at Northern Christian Alliance, we would also say this is not a true biblical organization. Now why would we say that? Well, Paul Sherrick gives us some interesting things right from Northern Christian Alliance website. In one place he compares the Apostle Paul with Mother Teresa. Okay, here's a quote. Quote, some of the most courageous and accomplished people in history have been Christians. From Apostle Paul to Mother Teresa, the list of true Christian champions is gigantic. End quotes. Well, if you study uh, Mother Teresa, of course Apostle Paul was a true Bible-believing Christian, but if you study Mother Teresa, she belonged to the pagan Roman Catholic faith, not biblical, false gospel, false truth to find God, man-made traditions and religion. Also, she didn't even teach people to come out of Hinduism to find Christ. She taught all universal faith. So she was a very dangerous lady. And there's also many, many things coming up about her that are being revealed after her death. And you can study up about her. But she was not a Bible-believing spirit and truth worshiper. She was a pagan. And so he's comparing an unbelievable person to Apostle Paul. Big problem right there, okay? So that would be one warning. The other big warning about this organization is the fact that um, Paul Sherrick is, by his own teachings, a dominionist. He's part of the New Apostolic Reformation. They teach uh, classes at a Harvest School that are linked directly with C. Peter Wagner, Ron Cottle. These are main teachers of the New Apostolic Reformation. Very unbiblical group. But how do we tie them together? Well, not only the school, which we have articles on. Go to Don't Perish. Click on our Unbiblical Teachers blog. There's a blog list. Then te click on Unbiblical Teachers blog. Right on his Northern Christian Alliance website, Paul Sherrick says this, quote, Jesus taught us to pray that his kingdom would come and his will would be done on earth just as it is in heaven. We pray for God's influence to create an atmosphere of goodness and right in all parts of our society. Specifically, we pray for these drivers of our world, arts and entertainment, media, government, finance, education, family, religion, end of quote. That, folks, is a, a quote from a dominionist. That is the exact teaching from C. Peter Wagner. Dominionists teach taking dominion of the earth, taking over these areas of society, and regaining the culture for God. That is not what Jesus taught. Yes, Jesus' kingdom will come. God's kingdom will come. It will come when Christ returns. The Bible teaches we're to go out and proclaim the gospel, with this, which is faith and repentance and regeneration in the truth of God's word, then in obedience following and living for him, we proclaim, proclaim the gospel, we make biblical disciples. We don't do it by moralizing, we don't do it by taking over Hollywood, we don't do it by taking over public schools where um, Christ is not honored or the core and center of any way. This is a false belief, it comes from Genesis 1 where they said, um, they say God says take dominion, Man was to, to make, take dominion over the earth, over the animals, as being higher and made in the image of God. So Christians are not to take dominion. This is a false theology. We see it taught right on Northern Christian lines. So they do not teach the gospel. What they do is they use moralizing. They use the seven dominion mandate. Look up C. Peter Wagner on our website, don'tperish.com, blog list, unbiblical teachers blog. And an interesting thing about Northern Christian Alliance, like many religious organizations, there's no gospel button to be found. Now, Jesus said proclaim the gospel. He didn't say go out and raise funds. Well, they all have big donate buttons to raise money. So, Northern Christian Alliance has a nice donate button. I can't find the gospel, the saving gospel, the biblical gospel, the obedient life-saving gospel of Jesus Christ. 
it's not found there. So beware of Northern Christian Alliance. When tested against God's word, it fails. The man leading it, Paul Sherrick, when tested against God's word, he fails. His religious body, when tested against God's word, it fails. And why do we do this? First Thess 5.21 says, test all things. We do it for God's glory. We're not out to get anyone. We've reached out to these people. They reject the truth. So we want to warn others in love because we care about them. So thanks for listening. This has been Jim from Don'tPerish.com. John 4, 24 Radio, bringing you truth and discernment from God's Word. Remember, rejecting man's false ways like Northern Christian Alliance and clinging to God's Word alone. Till next time, may God be praised.